For years and years, I was pulling salinity shots and ignoring them. I didn't care. He's got a big old boat down there, and they go sword fishing all the time. And I happened to be talking to Dan a couple of years back on the telephone, and the, the, the conversation of salinity came up. Over the course of the conversation, he basically told me what a dumbass I really was and uh, explained it to me, and the little light bulb went boop. Now I'm going to share it with you. Now down in the Gulf of Mexico, of course, they have the Mississippi River dumping out all of this fresh water. So in the Gulf of Mexico, they live and die by salinity. All right, because they got all this fresh water from the Mississippi, they got salt water in the ocean, so they live and die by this salinity shot. Well, what Dan told me that day that just made the little light bulb pop on, he's like, but Dave, you don't understand. You can tell the difference between this water mass and that water mass. And I know you're going, huh? Think about this. Spanish fishing. You're Spanish fishing. You got the dark water coming out the inlet. You got the line between the dark and the clear. Salinity is showing you the differences between water masses. It's showing you where one water mass is different than the other water mass. You see this? Let me blow this shot up for you here. The other really kind of cool thing about salinity is that it's cloud free. Tom was telling me during the break that uh, he'd gone fishing here recently and it was really, really rough. Was it real cloudy that day, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, it probably wasn't. Couldn't get an SST shot with a dog. This right here that told you everything you needed to know. See, because what we can do here is we can take this and we can we can see where these two water masses collide. Can y'all see this right here? This is the Gulf Stream pulling up through here. All right, we can see that because the salinity is the same all the way up through there. Same time. This green part right here, this is coastal water. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it be that you would say, well, this green water, because its salinity is different than this yellow and orange water, those two water masses are separate? Wouldn't it also leave, uh, lend a reason that the difference between green and uh, orange is where those two water masses are butted up against each other? This is where we can see that water masses are different. Look at this water right here. It's the Labrador current coming down. This is the Gulf Stream coming up. Can, can you not see where these two have butted up against each other? Look where the current, where this Labrador current is funneling around Cape Lookout. Where it's being pushed around it. Isn't this water mass different from this water mass? Isn't this water mass different from this water mass? If I was keen mackerel fishing that day, I'd have been right here. If I was offshore fishing, I'd have been right through here. Does that make sense? Yes, sir, John. Um, on offshore, where you're not going to have any influence from the Pamlico or the Cape Fear or anything like that, right. fresh water running out there, way on out the stream and out past. What would cause a difference in salinity in the water out there, that far out? <coughs> well, and just like in what you're seeing here, um, it's different water masses. All right, now, you know the water, the ocean is not distributed evenly, you know, salinity-wise or current-wise or any of that stuff. So you get a current pushing up, let's say the Gulf Stream that we can see, see right here. She's pushing up, and she's got a nice big eddy right here. Uh -huh. Look how pretty you can see that eddy yeah. in the salinity shot. Now, specifically, why was the salinity lower in this area than that area? I don't know. But, but, but because it's different, I can tell you specifically where this water mass is and where that water mass is. Right. I just wondered why that far out, what, what would cause it to be 31 probably currents. 33. Yeah, well. Probably currents, probably you know, something along those lines. Where the water came from, you know, a lot of that water... I was talking with, chatting with somebody, I can't remember who it was, about yellowfin tuna earlier this week. And uh, one of the things that we were chatting about was uh, uh, whether or not the, the, the tuna were going to show up here on, on the western side of the Gulf Stream this year, because they have been in the previous years on the west side of the Gulf Stream. Well, it's got to do with where the water comes from down around the Bahamas. 
You know, does it come on the pass on the east side of the Bahamas or on the west side of the Bahamas? Does that make sense? But you can see where these water masses collide and it's a cloud-free shot. So we don't have to have beautiful weather in order to get a shot. So you can still see where the water masses collide and in what area you're going to have an SST break. Because when you overlay this with a, with a clean SST shot, you're going to be shocked how, how well these two line up. As we go through these guys, especially as you're learning to do this, I highly recommend that every shot that you look at, you reach right over here and you hit the print key. And you actually print it out of your printer. Ink's expensive. Well, gas is more expensive. Hmm. All right? Print it. Then after you print it, and this is going to be true for SSH or any of these data layers that we're talking about, I want you to take your magic marker and I want you to outline what you see. Don't worry about what the value was. Don't worry about you know, who, what, when, where, none of it. Outline what you see. If you can see that it is yellow here and green there, I want you to draw a line there. Between the green and the blue, I want you to draw a line there. All right? What's going to happen is, is when we get done, we're going to make a little flip book out of it, and we're going to flip through the shots, and you're going to be shocked at what you see. Because all of them are going to be pointing at the same spot. Guess where that, that spot is? Where you're going fishing tomorrow. Okay, and you're going to see how, how all of these line up. It, 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 it'll actually amaze you pretty much. All right, let's see. 